Okay, this is the cemetery. We are at the top part of the right-hand page. Just sort of like east, northeast of the fruit farm. There are a couple of things that can be done here. I actually think this is part of the cemetery as well. I'm pretty sure. I remember seeing the ocean for the first time and something about the light, the water, the voices of other people. The boundary between myself and the rest of the world felt very thin. It was beautiful. A way to remember your loved ones? Okay, if you listen to the dream tape, that is a trophy. It's called it's the dream listener trophy. I knew my brain was doing something special. I thought I'd wake up with an idea for a new shape or color. Everybody would love my new shape or color. But instead, my brain gave me a dream which made people afraid. Which is making you leave. The dream scared me, but also made me glad to be alive. I am happy to keep living. I don't mind. The elder said it means this season is ending soon. I want to tell you the dream now. Let's shut our eyes and lay on the roof. We are already on the roof. That's good. I'll speak the dream out loud and you imagine it. You can close your eyes now. I'll tell you when to open them. I am in the forest. The sun is bright. My stomach rumbles. I'm hungry. I look for something to eat. There are fruit trees lining the path. I look for one to pick, to eat. I climb up one of the trees and reach out to grab a shining red apple. I blink and suddenly the apple is rotten. It looks like it's full of spiders. I blink again and now the apple is just a baby apple. Not ripe or rotten. I lose my balance and fall onto the ground. The apple changes colors. Some are eaten. Some disappear. I hear a voice. Someone is there with me. I try to recognize who they are, but their face keeps changing. They're kind of everyone. I tell them I'm hungry. I want what the earth is trying to give me. They say, these aren't apples. They're memories of every apple I've ever seen. There's something wrong with my eyes. And there's something wrong with the soil. They say I need to look into the sun to clear out my vision. They say we're going to look together. And that when we do, they'll melt away. They want to. 
Then behind them, I see you, watching from the shadows. You've been taking notes on everything. This makes me feel better. I turn my head and I let the light in. I lose track of everything. When I get my senses back, I find myself holding a round red fruit in my hand. I don't know what it is, but I take a bite and it's the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. Then I woke up. You can open your eyes now. You probably have questions. There's something wrong with the soil. It wasn't only my fault that the apples were acting funny. It seemed like the natural world, or whatever it's called. The land didn't know what time it was either. The soil had to forget a little. You were there, but you were separate. Whatever happens to us, we need you to keep an eye out. Somebody has to stay normal. <laughs> Somebody has to stay normal? Somebody has to not look into the sun. I feel like everything is happening the way it should. But I still wish none of it would happen at all. I wish my dream didn't mean anything. I wish we had wasted more time together. <laughs> I'd like that very much. We'll go down this roof together, and you'll keep going down and down, down into the heart of the world. Thank you for listening to my dream. Okay, let's go take some pictures and some audio at the cemetery. Here are some memory flowers. We can get the audio for those. was broadcasting music. Person who spent his youth sleeping, woke up as an old man, lived a few years and died. He did not regret anything. There are a few others. There's actually quite a few you can read here, if you want. Let's see what else oh, we've got. Okay, so there's the grave that I just took. It's really dark. The bell. Her memory of the ocean. Cemetery in general. I took a poor recording. Unlit candles being drowned in a flood. A loss of potential light. Potential prayers. Return to the gods to attain infinite laziness, to become an unidentifiable saint.
Resolve to remember Ting Valley. Resolve to remember our gods. The flood will take our homes as time takes the body. The past remains untouched. We'll take that. I can still walk through the streets of my village, down the corridors of memory. Repair and forget. memory of the dead alive in a way I've never seen before. There isn't enough room for a cemetery in my village. Here, memory is granted space. Land is used to let the living meet the dead. Or maybe it's the other way around. Check the index. Okay. Cemetery is complete. And then this is the dream listeners entry. 